Okay, today's lesson, we are looking at labeling vertices and sides of triangles. And then after that, we're going to look at labeling right angled uh, triangles. And then we will be labeling um, the triangles, the right angle triangles, and we'll be labeling the hypotenuse as well as the other two sides. So let's start with labeling the following triangles. So what we're looking at today with labeling vertices and sides is basically that each vertex of a triangle is labeled with a different capital letter. And then the sides opposite each vertex is labeled with the same letter only in lowercase. All right, so for example, if we have a triangle that looks like this, and we'll call this vertex B. Vertex B, um, remember that vertex is any point where the two uh, lines are meeting. So this could also be angle B. So directly opposite of, of that angle or vertex is going to be the side. So it's going to be this side here and it's going to be labeled with the lowercase b. So we would call this the lowercase b. All right, that's the first example. The second one, the triangle looks like this. I'm just doing rough sketches. But... So that's the triangle. And if this is the side n, and it's given in a lowercase letter, that means the angle or vertex opposite that has to be um, angle N or vertex N, and it would be capital. So right opposite would be this one here. So that angle or vertex would be labeled with a capital N. All right, um, let's take a look at this triangle here. All right, so this triangle here now, if this angle or vertex is labeled with a capital T, then opposite that, this side here would be labeled as lowercase t. And if this side here was labeled as lowercase a, the opposite vertex would be that one. So this angle or vertex would be labeled capital A. And the last one, if this was angle or vertex M, the side opposite that would be this one there, and we would label, we would label that as lowercase m. All right, so next we're looking at labeling right angle triangles. And right angle triangle, so first of all, what is a right angle triangle? It is a triangle that will have a right angle represented by a little square like that. That means this angle is right angled. Right angled is always 90 degrees. All right, so that is represented with this little square. Little square means that angle is 90 degrees. All right. Um, so when you have a right angled triangle, there's a special name for the side opposite the right angle. So I'm just going to show it here. Going opposite the right angle, that is called the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, like so. All right, anytime you are looking for the hypotenuse, you can either find it by, it would be the longest side, but the best way to remember where the hypotenuse is, is it, it is the side opposite the right angle. So it's the side opposite the right angle. All right, and I always suggest to find it that way. You go to your right angle, go opposite, and that side is the hypotenuse. So this one here is the hypotenuse. 
Okay, so the other two sides we will label A for altitude. So we'll use that one A for altitude and I'll put here altitude. And then this side here would be labeled B uh, for base. All right, and the hypotenuse is labeled as C. So we're just going to put here the C. All right, and when we get to eventually the Pythagorean theorem, um, which you probably have already learned before, you will see that the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, but today we are focusing on being able to label the right triangles. All right, so we got two more uh, triangles here to label. So again, there's the 90 degree angle for this uh, right angled triangle. So it's the side opposite this right triangle that will be labeled as the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is represented with a C. All right, so there's our hypotenuse. I'm just going to make note of that, that, that is the hypotenuse. All right, and then this here would be labeled A as altitude, and then this side would be labeled as B for base. All right, looking at this right angled triangle, again, anytime you're looking for the hypotenuse, go opposite the right angled, the right angle. All right, because it can be confusing if you're just using which one is longer, which one is the longer side. Um, so I always recommend just go opposite the right angle. That's your hypotenuse. All right, and then we can label this as altitude and then this one as base. All right, but like I said before, the A and B, if you switch them, that's okay. It's the hypotenuse that you do have to um, get the right side uh, labeled as the hypotenuse. The correct side is what I'm trying to say. Um, if you have the correct side labeled as the hypotenuse, the other two you can label as A or B. 